almost all of the violence we're seeing now is from the gangs. Sergeant Matt Little leads one of the teams in Chicago's gang enforcement unit. There are about 200 such officers in the city versus 100,000 gang members. When there's a shooting, we'll respond to the shooting. We'll figure out where we believe the most likely area for retaliation is, and we'll work that area trying to both prevent retaliation and possibly build a case on offenders. We rode along with Little's team as dusk fell on poor neighborhoods of vacant lots and high anxiety. The gangs have lost their hierarchy, right, so to speak. And without a chain of command, there's really nobody keeping things in check. And they lost their hierarchy because those guys got killed, they went to prison, or both? Both, yes. Those left are young, reckless, and often terrible shots. Instead of a bullet with somebody's name on it, you get a bullet that reads to whom it may concern. And that's how you get a little girl shot or a three-year-old Exactly. Right. We care about the grandmother that lives in the Greystone and is raising her grandkids. We care sure. about the guy who's a hard-working stiff that gets up in the morning and works two jobs. The police are also establishing a database gleaned from interviews with the gang members themselves on their whereabouts, grudges, or habits to anticipate trouble before it erupts. Some businesses that serve as hideouts will also be shuttered. Stay in the car. In just two hours, we witnessed repeated stops, searches, and arrests. They are smart enough and savvy enough to have people run interference, to have plausible stories, to have a whole system of things they can bring up to try to interfere with us doing our jobs. Sergeant Little is a decorated veteran of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Parts of Chicago, he says, are comparable. It's like tribal warfare. And it, just, it continues to build unless we manage to interdict it and manage to stop it long enough for the, the blood to stop boiling, the heat to die down. The mother of one of the young girls shot overnight spoke for many in this city, Scott, when she said the bullets are going everywhere now and the wrong people are getting shot. Dean, I wonder, what are some of the other things the Chicago police are doing to try to stop the violence? Well, they are really focusing on those corner liquor stores or those businesses that are turning into havens for these gangs, whether they're tolerating them or cooperating with them. The city and the police are going after them, and they're going to shut them down. Dean, thanks Scott? very much.